Hello, people of the internet. It is I, Sly Skyler, and I haven't really seen you guys for a while. Uh, and that, uh, there is a reason for that. I have been working, sorry, excuse me, uh, on uh, making another top 10 video because you guys seem to enjoy the last one. Um, but uh, I, I saw this game, Folk Us, and I just knew I had to play it because it looked awesome. And you'll see what I mean. It, it looked awesome and really weird. What? What is... Okay, that's not how vision works, but anyway. B to zoom in, Q to zoom out, R to reset. And in case you haven't noticed, there's a little tiny person right there. Ah. Don't. Don't worry about me. I'm fine like this. I usually like to spend my evenings almost crushed to death by large objects. I don't appreciate your sass, mister. I'm the one who took the large object off of you. And I'm also probably the, um, probably the one who put it on you, too. But those two actions so, should uh, cancel each other out. It's my uh, hobby. Yeah, let's go with that. This is one snarky little... Snarky. It's a word. Look it up. Word of the day. It's an awesome word. Hey, you know what? You should talk to somebody else. Aren't you polite? I love how he's just tapping his foot. There should be 11 of us around here. I'm just gonna rest up. For starters, Cecil is over in the garbage can having a crisis. That's where I go to have all my crises. Crises? Go check on him. Okay. What was zoom out? What was zoom out? Ah, Q. Okay, so. This is supposed to be... Sorry about that. This is supposed to be some guy's uh, dream, and I don't know what is up with my... Okay, do you guys see this? How it, like, dist... That is trippy. Okay, anyway, so there's supposed to be some guy in the garbage can. Whoa. Dude, you're tiny. Oh, great. <clears throat> ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Dot, dot, dot. Don't act like you've never wanted to just scream from it all. Uh, well, yes, but typically I find doing something about the thing I'm upset about tends to be a bit more productive. Just saying. There's too much out there. Poverty, war, disease, abuse... Well, I mean, not to sound horrible or anything, but that's not really your fault. I mean, you don't need to be miserable just because there are other miserable people out there. Also, why don't woman f women find me attractive? I feel you there, buddy. How could anybody not want this piece of absolute sexiness? Okay, I'm maddened by it all. I could just symbolically punch a window. That's how severe this is. I like this guy. You're not even listening to me, probably. I'm listening to you. I care. Okay, I care about you, little red man whose name I've already forgotten. Just like that idiot Marcelo. Well, that guy has an awesome name. He never listens to anybody. Is that the guy on the table? All he ever does is stare into the void sitting on the edge of the windowsill. No. Oh. He should just stare into his own void like me. Okay, well, have fun being emo, guy. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll check back on you uh, later. Okay, let's see. Nice guitar case. The moving is a little... Ugh. Make me a little... Oh. 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 Here we go. God, these guys are tiny. It's beautiful, isn't it? Times like this, I feel wistful. Times like this, I feel like I can say words like wistful. 
<laughs> it's a good word. Some people say this void can take your soul. But that's ridiculous when none of us have one. Oh, gosh. Yeah, what are you, by the way? Are you like... <laughs> I don't want to have to call an exterminator. If anything, the void can fulfill you, comfort you. What do you think that phone call would be like? Uh, yes, hello, pests be gone? Uh, they're little tiny people infesting my apartment. Um, no, you can't see them with your naked eye. I have this magical camera, and, um, they're, uh, telling me all this stuff about my soul and stuff, and it's really insightful and deep. No, I, no, I'm not on anything. Why do you ask? That might be the romantic in me talking. Speaking of talking, I'd love to gab more, but I think I need some more quiet reflection. The void is so awe-inspiring. I almost want to leap into it. Well, don't do that, because that would be suicide. Anyway, I think Millie could use some conversation. Last I hear she was on the third shelf, left side. Okay, thank you, Marcelo. Oh, need to zoom out a bit more. Yeah, am I in an apartment? I haven't really taken... I ha We used to have this exact same carpet. That's weird. I think I think somebody has been stalking me. Okay, let's see here. They based a game off of my life. Third shelf, left side, he said. What are... What does that say? I can't... Hang on. Maybe if I get closer... Let's see here. So, he'll say no. After all our time together. Oh, God, relationship problems. Here we go. God, I've been an idiot. What does that say? I should have known. Should have known what? Was he cheating on you? He never said he loves me. Not once. Well, that is a red flag, yeah. What were we doing all that time? I don't know. What an asshole. <laughs> you tell him, lady! Okay, what am I? Guys, don't cheat on your girlfriends, it's not cool. Is, is that one I just read? But. <laughs> but. Um. Let's see here. I can't help but cry. God, this is... I'm on low sensitivity right now, and it's still really hard to control. What's wrong with me? Nothing's wrong with you. <laughs> Except your taste in men! Oh! I'm sorry. I know you're going through a lot. Maybe that wasn't appropriate. I need to get a grip. Yeah. I'm just writing... all of my problems. Could you write one sentence on a piece of paper? This would go a lot quicker. Without telling him. Yeah, there you go. You should confront him about all this. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Heard you the first time, lady. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting. I'm. I. I get the. I get the point. Where's the? Here we go. Sigh. Well, at least it's not. Oh. Let's see here. Maybe I should actually. Ask him. Oh, okay. So we're dealing with a teenage girl then. I love him! Ask him out! No! No, no! Before deciding our entire future together. Yeah, no crap! But that's... So scary. Oh, I actually feel bad now. Don't be scared. Little... Millie, Marcy, whatever your name was. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. <laughs> yeah, sorry to interrupt your little pity party. 
I know I'm kind of going back and forth between sensitive and sympathetic and a complete and total D-bag, but, you know, that's just me. If you want to bother someone, Peter is hiding under the pillow. <laughs> oh, thanks for telling me that there was someone hiding under my pillow. That would have been good to know. Okay, so, let's see here. Under my pillow. Ah, there you are. Click. I don't want to go anywhere. Why is my house infested with tiny emo people? I'll just end up spending money. Hmm. Oh, money problems. I'll just stay here and do nothing all day. I need to save up. I want to be happy and not have to worry about money. I'll need lots of it. Frugality! So, sorry, I don't want to do anything. Could you do me a favor, though? Keith owes for lunch the other day. That ten dollars. Think about it. That could be dinner for a week. Well, be a pretty crappy dinner for a week, but yeah. Can't sleep at night knowing that money is just... out there. I think he's typing by the computer. Thanks for your help. Uh, yeah, sure. So you have money problems. So what have we dealt with so far? Um, sarcastic person. Um, anger issues. What else was there? There was weird wistfulness guy over here. Relationship problems and money problems. Let's see here. He was typing over by the keyboard. I don't... Oh! Whoa! These guys are so t Whoa, dude! Or is that just how you type? Because you're just small. F you! F all people! Okay, maybe this is anger management, guys. Jerks! Feather... Feather muckers! Can you believe this? Dude, please. Family-friendly channel. Well, not really, but I like to pretend it is so I feel better about myself. How can people be so stupid? Father's sake, can you even... Can you even fathom? I say that sometimes. Can you even fathom? What a waste humanity is sometimes. My faith, if you could even call it that, is shattered. Frick! What the... Fallopian! If only everyone could be as reasonable as me. I have had moments like this. Anyway, Peter can go F himself. It's only $10. He needs to freaking relax. I need to check out my site, so see ya. Now, where is that mouse? God, dude. Wait, you didn't... You didn't tell me where the next person is. Is, is he on the mouse? Um... I need to know where the other person is. Oh, yeah, there we are. Oh, okay, you seem much more relaxed. <laughs> penis. Penis, penis. Penis, penis. Penis. Penis, 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 penis. <laughs> is this my repressed sexuality? Did you laugh? You bet I did. <laughs> yep. Not gonna lie, I'm a comic genius. I like this guy. Even that loner Jackie needs to admit it. Jackie was on the right side of the second top shelf. If I remember right. Second top shelf. Vagina. Second... What? Okay, so... Bye, penis man! I don't know your name, so that's your... The second top shelf. Second top shelf. On the right side? Ah, there we are. Oh, look at this guy. This guy is just too cool. Elise said I was a loner. Oh, that was a girl over there. 
I am one, yeah. I'm a loner, but I wager I deserve it. I deserve loneliness. Ugh! I'm so brooding. Whoever looks straight into someone's eyes and say, I love you. Yeah, I did, but then I got a restraining order. But not mean it in the slight. <laughs> you, sir, are an asshole. <laughs> I've done it. I'll keep doing it. Over and over again. I'm missing a circuit or a connection somewhere. Maybe I just need to meet the right person. But even if I do, and if there's nothing inside of me, in the end I'll look right into their eyes, say those three words. Maybe you're better off talking to someone like June. She's somewhere around the door handle. Okay, uh, have fun being a jerk. Let's see here. The door handle. I like this. Oh, here we go. Oh my. You okay? I'm falling into a routine. Wake up, go to work, come home, watch TV, go to sleep. You have a job? Where do you work? How do you avoid your other co-workers stepping on you? On the weekends I sleep, maybe call a friend out to dinner. But then, nothing. God, this game is really depressing. I feel like there's enough time for anything, but no time at all. This problem is so small and inconsequential. What is this feeling growing inside of me? The urge to kill. <laughs> I don't know what I call it. Inui, depression, boredom, maybe. Giving it a name doesn't seem like it'll do anything. I re I recently... Sorry, I... I'm a little... Lemmy. I have this, like, lisp thing going on. I feel a headache coming on. I better go to sleep. Have you been standing there a while? Got nothing better to do? My friend Amos is by the guitar. He could use the company. Okay. I recently read Hyperbole and a Half. It's a really good book. Um, it's a really quick read. Most of it is, uh, pictures, but it's really good. And the writer was talking about depression and how it's more boredom than being sad. Just how there's nothing to do and life just becomes a chore. It's really the- it's actually a really funny book, but there's some depressing parts. Let's see here. I'm writing a song that I hate for a person I can't stand. Well... It's the best song I've ever written, and it's for me. But hey, whatever, just keep rolling along with the punches in life. I used to dream that I'd make something beautiful, full of love. Now I'm just amazed if I can shit something out in half a year. I'm cussing a lot in this video. Hmm. To be fair, most of it is text, but without hurling myself into manic depression. Anyway, this song is about someone I love deeply, who is now with me no more. The less said about him, the better. Oh, wait, are you a girl or a guy? Either is fine. I'm not. <laughs> okay, internet, calm down. You get your hand off that common button right now, young man. The less said about him, the better. But, well, <laughs> if I really believed that I wouldn't be writing a song about him, now would I? What? Look forward to the song. I don't know when I'll be done. But I'll let you know. In the meantime, why don't you talk to my former love? Oh, I thought he was dead. Benny is probably still hanging around the room lamp. Not missing me at all. God, dude, I'm sorry. Well, at least he's getting his anger out somehow. So I guess he's on the edge somewhere. Oh, wait, is that a person? I think I see a person. No? No. Of course not. Whoa, buddy! You okay? Is this a dream, or is this what is actually happening? What's more likely, finding tiny people and listening to them? Or spending a life avoiding problems constantly? Hanging off a light fixture for dear life? Or hoping in vain for someone to rescue you? My name's Benny, but who are you? Whoever you are, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Because right now, 
I can feel the end coming on. No, dude. And here it is, right out of the void. What? What's going on? What's going on? What the? When I woke up, I was so tired, but I had to start the day. What? Okay, hang on. Let me, with my amazing psychological prowess, try and evaluate this game. Um, so it was about a guy who was facing all of his life's problems in a dream. And he was being... But there was no real conclusion. We don't know if that helped him or if that... Or if it didn't, or if it made things worse. And what was with the camera guy? Was that supposed to symbolize that he felt like he was being evaluated? Like he was being... Well, this game is nothing if not thought-provoking! Wow! Uh, that was a game. I think I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, it's been forever. I can't remember my outro. Uh, look, f uh, I'm looking forward to posting that new top 10 video. And uh, I might be playing another game pretty soon about a certain loving father who has a dark secret. I'm going to end all my videos like that now, just with like some sort of cryptic clue to the next video. Awkward ending. Anyway, bye!